hi and welcome to my channel my name is Fivo and in this channel I share sewing DIY bag making videos and fashion tips and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this um, beautiful design leather tote bags so if this is um, what you'd like to see please watch this video to the end and if you're just coming across my channel for the very first time do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you for always showing up and always coming back to this channel now without further ado let's get right into the video okay so i have already gone ahead and cut out all my pieces for this tote bag but i'm going to be telling you the measurements i use so this is the main body of the bag and for the length as you can see this is folded into two for the length i used about 16 inches and for the width 15.5 that is for the main body of the bag and after that i have my pockets um and pockets measured um 10 and a half by 11 inches that is for the main pocket and i also have the smaller bag design that is measured seven inches by six and a half and that is also folded into two and for the pocket of the smaller pulse um, it is measured uh, four and a half inches by four inches so that is it for both the small and the big um pulse so for the handle the smaller handle is measured the length is 11.5 by 2 inches and for the bigger handle the length is 31.5 by two and a half sorry 32 and a half by two and a half inches so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be folding the handles i'm going to be folding it this way folding it into the two this way and then just sew just join it straight i'm going to be doing that for both the long strap and the smaller strap and i'm going to do that off camera and then come back to show um what i did Okay, as you can see, I've gone ahead and sewed my straps, both the smaller strap and the bigger strap. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is attaching my pocket to the tote bag. So the first thing I did was I notched the, um, the down part of the bag. So I'm going to be placing the purse, the pocket on it. And I'm just going to be measuring this in place to make sure that um, it's in the middle, like all the sides are equal before sewing on it i'm going to be sewing around the sides i'm just going to be leaving the top part open so yeah i'm just using a pin to hold this down so it doesn't move while i'm sewing on it okay so after sewing down my pocket this is what we're having now the next thing i'm going to be doing is joining the sides together now to join the sides i'm going to be sewing on the front side first before flipping it around and sewing on the wrong side this is called a french seam if you make clothes you would know what i'm talking about so i'm just going to be sewing joining it from the front first and then flipping it around and joining it from the back that way i have a, a very neat um, finishing on the inside since this is not fabric it's leather i cannot say i would weave it so if i was working with um, fabric i would weave it instead but since this is leather i am going to just um, do it like this so that i have a very neat finishing on the inside
so having done that i'm just going to be setting this part of the bag aside and then work on the smaller pocket so i'm just going to be re repeating the same process the same thing i did for the bigger or um the bigger bag i'm just going to be repeating the same process for the smaller one too the only difference is i'm not going to be um use, doing a french seam on this because it's not necessary i'm just going to be sewing it from the wrong side and then i'm going to be attaching the handle to this so just watch and you get what i'm saying So having having done that the next thing we're going to be doing is attaching the straps together to our bag but before then i'm going to be cutting out a facing for the tote bag and the first thing i did was measure the top of my bag and that is that was about 14.5 inches so i'm going to be cutting a strap that is measured 15.5 inches by two and this is going to be serving as the strap as the um facing for the bag So for the facing i'm just going to join the two edges together and then fold one part the part that i'm going to be using as the bottom part i'm just going to be folding it inwards okay so after doing that i'm just going to be setting this facing aside and then join my handles together so to join the handles i'm going to be taking 2.5 inches inwards from the edge of the bag i'm going to be repeating the same thing on both sides so i just notch that part so that i 
I can also mark the back side together that way so as you can see so that is the place where I'm going to where my handle is going to be sitting and make sure immediately after you sold um, the first handle you have to put in your you have to put in your the smaller post from there so that is where the smaller post is going to be sitting so as you can see before joining in the other side so i haven't haven't joined the the um, handle for the front part of the bag i'm going to be doing i'm going to be joining the back part too so i have gone ahead and joined the handle for both the front part and the back part so the next thing i'm going to be doing here is attaching my face into this so so watch closely so you see what i did here so i'm just going to be using a pin to secure the sides both the sides of the hand um the bag and the sides of the facing so i'm just using a pin to secure the front and the back too that is after securing the sides and then on my sewing machine i'm just going to be sewing that round i sewed i did that off camera so after sewing this is what i have and the next thing i'm going to be doing is um pushing the facing inwards and then top stitching to secure it so i'm just going to be top, top stitching that off camera too so after doing that this is what we have as you can see the inside of the tote bag is very neat you can also use a lining for this but it's it's your choice so but i i choose to use a facing for it so the last thing to do is to um secure the pause the smaller pause how you want it to be on the bag and then just do a top stitch on that from the handle so that way it doesn't move when um whenever you're carrying your bag or using it it is secured there in one place so that is the last thing to do for this bag and just like that we've come to the end of this video so if you've watched this video to this point do well to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can push this video and show this video to more people 